Morning guys, um, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you a few uh, things that I'm really loving at the moment like the pink cloud uh, you know cream that by herbivore uh, or herbivore um, which is a US brand uh, um, and I got this at Liberty store here in London um, it's re I've just applied uh, the moisturizer so I've just moisturized my skin and it's it, it leaves my skin really dewy well not really dewy but like quite dewy and um, it's got um, basically is um, it's got rose water uh, moisture cream that's what it's called um, so this one basically uh, is the perfect moisturizer they say uh, pink cloud hydrates plumps and smooths uh, skin leaving it with a balanced and slightly dewy finish includes rose water, aloe water and white tea extract to hydrate, soothe and reduce the appearance of redness formulated for all skin types, never greasy, oily or sticky perfect under makeup or let your skin breathe free and it's really true that uh, it's got a slightly dewy finish and I feel my skin, uh, you know stays hydrated throughout the day so yeah I've just applied that and I'm basically out of it uh, there is only you know a little bit left uh, here but you know I've used the, the hole it's empty completely empty um, I've had this since November but I haven't been using it every every day otherwise I would have run out uh, much earlier because this one, I think it's only got uh, uh, 50 ml, so you get 50 ml in here, and it comes in this uh, nice uh, box with clouds all, all, all the way. You know, it's got clouds everywhere, and inside you get good skin naturally, so that's what I'm loving, what I've loved, uh, Pink Cloud, that's great moisturizer. And then now I'm gonna apply the um, Organic Pharmacy uh, Cellular Protection Sunscreen High Protection UVA and UVB Broad Spectrum SPF 50. And this one is um, with Marigold, Rose Hip and Shea Butter. But it's got alcohol in in here, uh, and it's the one to third ingredient, so it's quite high uh, in the list of ingredients. But I I don't like um, you know those um, SPF that leave me a really shiny uh, face on, so I'd rather just have uh, some alcohol in my SPF um, rather than. Uh, you know, having a dewy face, this this one leaves a matte face, um, so I can put whatever I want on top of this. And yeah, I quite like it, although it's a bit difficult to spread, so that's why you need to um, make sure that you moisturize really well. Uh, you either apply uh, oil um, under this one in order to, you know, be able to spread it uh, a bit more easily, so that's the only thing to mention and I got it from the organic pharmacy shop here in London which is opposite to the Liberty store where I got the herbivore uh, moisturizer so this one retail I think is almost 40 pounds uh, and you get 100 ml but the ingredients are not bad at all uh, other than having yeah alcohol in it which is not that great but you know, it, it's either this or having a shiny face, greasy, oily face, which I don't like. Anyway, so now I've got on uh, both the Pink Cloud Moisturizer and the SPF 50 on. So what I want to do is to show you, I've got a few samples of the Corento uh, Cream uh, um, Berry Vitamin Cream Foundation. 
so basically I'll just show you here on their website, on the Coranto website. I didn't get it from Coranto, I got it from Amin Essences, uh, which is the Belgian, um, you know, supplier, uh, online supplier where I get most of my organic natural makeup from. So that's the foundation here that I've got. Um, so it comes in a compact like this, but I don't have it, I only got the samples. So, the, unfortunately they only have like seven shades uh, at the moment, so this is the, um, these are the shades, you know, those little dots there. Uh, let's pick one up for instance, you know, that's how it's looking. These are the swatches that you get online. And that's the packaging that it comes in. So it looks like a, almost like a, um, I don't know, tin of moisturizer. Not tin, but like a, yeah, like a moisturizer. It's a berry vitamin cream foundation, which is nourishing and caring, high quality vit vitaminized foundation. Uh, it says, achieve a velvety soft full coverage makeup look with semi-matte finish with current berry vitamin cream foundation. The foundation evens skin tone and blurs any imperfection inside. This unique formula with luxurious organic plant and berry oils gives you a subtle glow without making your look oily during the day. Breathable formula doesn't ac accentuate skin texture nor unclog uh, pores. Embrace natural coverage with this semi-matte foundation that makes your skin feel healthy and vitaminized uh, all day long. Suitable for all skin types, they say. So, Corento Cream Foundation is infused with Corento Berry Active Complex which contains some of the most potent free radical fighting antioxidant and vitamin rich arctic berries such, a, such as bilberry, lingonberry and sea buckthorn truly make up with benefits for the skin so they say how to use warm up a small amount of foundation in the back of your hand or between your hands apply foundation on cleanse and or and moisturize skin with fingers or with a makeup sponge proceed from the uh, center of the face to the edges so that the foundation fades out beautifully and then it says how to choose corento uh, shade according to flow cosmetics mineral powder foundation I'm not sure what that is um, so and they say do know that the product consistency may affect slightly to the color um, so they've got uh, four warm shades and four cool shades so it actually is it's got eight uh, not seven sorry uh, I said seven before um, so it's got a uh, warm one which is uh, uh, flow ivory the Flow Cosmetic Mineral Foundation, foundation um, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the shade that relates to the Flow Cosmetics Mineral Powder. Uh, the Warm 2 is uh, Flow Peach. The Warm 3 is Flow Amber. Uh, warm 4 is Flow Honey. And if you are in the cool spectrum, Cool 01 is uh, Flow Baby Face. Cool 02 is Flow Porcelain. Cool 03 is Flow Vanilla, Cool 4 is Flow Sun. Um, they have another foundation, Corento, which is called the Age Defined Serum Foundation, which I guess is not um, full coverage, uh, being a serum, but I might be wrong, but that's basically how it looks. And in this, actually, they only got four shades. <laughs> You know, if you can see them here, they have only like four shades. Yeah, which is um, not great, but I think it's a new brand, probably. I don't know how, you know, when they came out. I've never heard of them, to be honest. Um, I just came across uh, uh, through Emin Essences, because I was just looking at the makeup section on there. Um, actually, or maybe 
I got um, probably I was looking at the new their new products and this was one of them that's why I've come across Corento which is a Finnish um, makeup brand uh, so that's basically that um, in terms of uh, so I'll do some swatches of these um, and then I'll, I'll well I'll put uh, on my face um, no I'll do some swatches first let's do some swatches first so I've basically swatched uh, the four shades that I've got um, I'll show you so this is warm one hope you can see it here warm one then warm two warm three here and cool three so the last one is cool three um, I basically chose um, cool three instead of cool one and cool two just to because I don't think I'm that uh, I'm not cool toned anyway um, I'm more on the warm side I'm more like neutral but I'm leaning on the uh, yellowish, the pale yellow undertone I've got neutral to pale yellow so these are the, the swatches and based on the, the swatches here I don't know if you can, hopefully you can see them Um, so I think I'm gonna put a picture of this anyway um, but yeah it's true that the texture changes um, uh, depending on the co color that you apply so like this one is a bit more um, dewy and so which is warm one this one here is a bit more dewy warm two is not so dewy and then warm three is quite dewy as well and cool three is um, kind of dewy so yeah that's that so I'm going to use warm one because it seems like the best match okay so they say to apply it with a beauty sponge or uh, fingers I'm gonna do this the finger application because I don't have a sponge right now though dirty so I'm not using dirty sponges okay so let's uh, put a few dots ah, and uh, sorry I just wanted to show you that's the sample it's looking up like that I don't know why they all basically got the product on the cap so it's a bit you know not ideal but you know I got a bit of product uh, for maybe a couple of applications I would say and I got the same amount for all the other samples that I've ordered um, so yeah let's do let's try and do this half of my face so let's start from the center like they say and so I've got you know lots of redness on my cheeks this side as well you can see the redness that I've got in the usual places so as you can see it's got a bit of a luminous finish to that So we'll see how much product we use. I'm probably gonna finish it all. Doesn't seem too much of a full coverage to me. Maybe you can build it up to full coverage, but it seems more like a medium for now. So the color is, is okay. I mean, it's like the lightest color that they have so if you are paler than me you're not gonna be able to find the match in here and if you are much darker you know as I said they only got uh, eight shades um, two undertones cool and warm but they only have four shades for each undertone so it's not a uh, great selection but that's basically it it goes over the pores quite nicely I must say because I've got um, really 
large pores. Yeah, the color is pretty good. I haven't got any color, uh, any tan on my face yet because I always wear SPF and I never, I haven't been on holiday yet. So, um, yeah, pale. Same shade as um, in winter for now. So even though it's summer, because we are in June now. I'm not bringing it down my neck because this is exactly my shade. This is exactly my skin tone. So, it, you know, it matches with my neck. If you can see, you know, if you can see, there is no contrast between like my face and my neck. This is a first impression because I've never used uh, these um, samples before. I've just uh, received them a few days ago. So anyway, I'm gonna clean my hand. So I've only done a layer of this. Um, It looks quite shiny to me, so I'm gonna have to set it because this is very dewy. I don't, I don't agree with the uh, semi matte that they mentioned. I'm pretty, I remember that they mentioned the uh, gives uh, you a subtle glow without making you look oily during the day. Um, well, I do look oily right now. Because this foundation is quite uh, dewy, actually. I mean, I think the coverage is a light to medium coverage, so I don't agree with the full coverage that they mentioned. Okay, guys, so I've just um, finished applying the Hourglass Translucent Veil Setting Powder. Um, so I had to use a lot, a lot of it, because it was very, very shiny. Uh, to the point that it was looking quite greasy on my skin at least which I have combination to oily skin just for reference uh, I would say this one is uh, probably best for dry skin at least uh, the warm one uh, shade because warm two doesn't seem as dewy as this one uh, when I swatched it but I haven't put it on my face so I don't know if I put that shade on my face um, what it would be like uh, but it doesn't seem to be a good match for me uh, shade warm too that's why I didn't use it but this one um, so I, I put a lot of powder like a ton of powder on to um, eliminate the shiny um, the shininess but I still can see it's still coming through the shine as you can see I mean this this hourglass powder is not a mattifying powder at all um, it's more to set the makeup so and I've got I used the, the Ilia concealer under, under my eyes um, I haven't used it anywhere else so it's kind of you can still see a bit of um, it has evened out my skin tone a bit but it's not like full coverage um, this I would say light to medium for sure um, yeah it's good uh, it's kind of blurring the pores I can see that uh, it is blurring the the pores uh, here on my nose I don't know if you can see it I'll see if I can zoom you in so yeah, if you can see like my nose, it has filled in, you know, this is where I've got the larger pores. So it has filled in the, my pores pretty, it has blurred the pores pretty nicely. Mm, here, you know, my big line here, uh, it is gathered slightly in there. So if you have, you know, more fine lines than me, it's probably going to set. And yeah, it feels like I'm, I'm like still tacky here, but I've put powder. So um, yeah, it's 
is looking a bit makeup-y in this area here, in my moustache area, just maybe because I didn't blend it really that well. So yeah, this is where we are at with this one. Um, it's good in a way, but I don't think I would uh, purchase the, the full size. Um, just because I don't think this foundation is for me. I don't like the really dewy, border, oily, greasy finish that it's got. Um, it's, it costs 39 euros on the Corento uh, website. And I think I paid how much for the... let me double check, sorry if I didn't check earlier. Um, let me see... So each sample cost uh, 3 euros on the Eminescence's um, website. So yeah, I spent uh, 12 euros in total because I got 4 samples. Uh, I had a discount of 1 euro and 44 cents. Um, the shipping was 9 euros via DHL. Uh, so, yeah, so overall, as I said, uh, it's, um, it's a good product if you have really dry skin. wanted to show you, they sent me this one with my order, which is a little sample of the blush uh, raspberry Corento. So I haven't opened it yet. Oops, I, it's basically splashed on my face, as you can see. I've just opened this one, which looks like a perfume type of uh, bottle. You know, this is basically looking like a little perfume bottle. And it's basically ended up on my... I don't know how the hell you are supposed to put it, but, um, you know, this is quite um, liquidy. That's how it's looking, this blush. So that's the shade. Which is called the Raspberry. So now I've made a mess on my face. That's great, I shouldn't have opened it, but I wanted to show you. So for you guys to show you, now I've got a mess on my face. I hope I'm gonna be able to <laughs> remedy that be doing a Pacifica review uh, pretty soon, uh, Pacifica Allied Clean Foundation that is. I'm just waiting for, so I've got uh, shade 37 Warm Light in that, which is not, is a bit too pinkish for me, so I've, I've just ordered through eBay um, shade 34 uh, Neutral Light, so when I'm gonna have when I receive that one, I'll be able to um, compare the two shades. Uh, I'm gonna show you how they uh, work on my face. Probably I'll do a half and half. But yeah, this is my uh, review for the Corento Cream um, Foundation. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this review. Uh, I'll uh, basically do a check-in at the end of the night just to see if it held up. But now the time is 10.34, um, so I'll see you guys tonight before I remove my makeup. Hello guys, uh, just a quick update uh, on the Corento um, cream foundation um, that I've tried for the first time today, um, you know, with the samples basically that I've shown that I got from Amin Essences. Um, so basically, um, it's gone very very shiny uh, I've got it on since I think since um, 11 more or less or 10 30 even so you know this is my forehead which is quite greasy um, I would say very greasy uh, don't know if you can see like the shine on my fingers yeah, probably you can now that the light, yeah, I can see it, I can see the shine. 
and you know it, it's not highlighter it's just the the grease um because i don't put highlighter on my forehead um so it's, it's just the grease from the um, the oils and uh yeah here and the sides of my nose it got really shiny uh, in terms of transferring i don't think i can see much no i can't see much transfer it's more the oil um but it has separated uh, a bit around my mouth um sorry i'm just looking at the the mirror here um, yeah it's kind of a bit separated uh, um, and then i've got like it settled here in my big line that i've got here and here as well so I've got a bit of a line there as well. So it's basically um, settling in slightly in my um, lines. Not the forehead line so much. But um, yeah, I mean, I don't think I'll be spending 39 euros for the full size of this product. Um, it's a shame because, you know, it's got great, in great ingredients. Uh, but... I don't think it's gonna work uh, for for me. You know, the, this foundation is not that um, good for my combo oily skin. So you know, maybe if you have really dry skin, then this is definitely for you. Um, but for me, it's a pass. But never mind. I saw they have a powder. Um, I don't know if it's a finishing or setting powder. I can't remember. But they have a. Um, loose powder that i might try at some point that's all and um you know if you if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one bye